So you want to find out about the relationship of a distance, then I'm probably a guy. Well, if you met someone online and then you never met in person, then I'm probably not your guy. Local therapist is your guy. But if you really want to know about relationship on a distance, yeah, that's me. You know why? You see, today is uh, my 10 year anniversary with my Thai wife. You may have a clue from all this snow that I'm not in Thailand right now. So I'm here and she's here. For those of you from the other side of the globe, that's an equivalent of flying from New York to LA and then flying back. You see, I'm here working. Because, you know, in traditional relationship with Asian women, man has to do the work. So, <laughs> I'm stuck here in this frozen place. Not really want to be here. That's probably a reason I'm doing this channel. So, my day started with a video call. Happy anniversary, honey. But I don't see any flowers. And I like... Uh, should I call Thai delivery and order some flowers for you? And she, uh, that would be stupid. We would be spending money. But I go market and buy flowers for myself. That was awkward enough. And then, honey, where do we eat? What about dinner? And I asked, like, do you really feel to go and have dinner alone? It's kind of stupid. Yeah, that's what relationship on a distance look like. You see, for us it's kind of always been like this, all 10 years. From 10 years we actually stayed together, probably four. If you think about it, like a percentage, yeah, 40%, not that bad. But if you think a little bit deeper, so it's six years that you have to wake up alone and that's probably should be six best years of your life from the age 20 to 30 and you want to know how it feels it sucks man how can it feel you know it was already bad you stay in separate half of the time but 2020 made it much worse I expected like yeah I work I'm a guest worker in my own country I make some money for the family, but who would expect this? We cannot just stay together. From the last 365 days, we spent together one month, exactly. A holiday in Turkey for New Year. The only time I wasn't busy and the only time I could afford it. And actually to meet, you have to pay for tickets and then she goes back, I had to pay for quarantine, it's kind of mandatory scene. I paid $1,000 just for a stupid hotel in Bangkok. Yeah, they not accept tests in Thailand. They just accept like, if you stay 14 days and then doctor checks you, so you clear. So I had to pay because I wanted to see her. It's a lot. And it feels stupid, you know, you kind of earning money and then you have to spend it all just to be able to see each other. Kind of unfair, don't you think? You know why I walk with a camera like this? Because I also walk without a camera almost every day. Approximately 15 to 25,000 steps. Ah, maybe I'll make a video about it. It helps relieve stress when you're staying alone, you know. Only fresh air helps me fresh air, some music, that would help me. Probably I could get crazy without it. So how it's going on a daily basis? Well, probably first time when you separate with your love, you'll call every day, talk, but then you kind of get busy, get stuck with your work, and then after three, four months, Sometimes she's just lazy to call. Sometimes she don't want to see her because she reminds you of what a failure you are, that you have to stay separate. You're a freaking guest worker. You work for nothing, for nothing. You're a loser. Yeah. 
do you look at her face and <laughs> it kind of judges you she's not judging me but i know i'm judging myself for being a loser that's how relationship on a distance works because if you could choose why would you choose a freaking relationship on a distance you should choose something normal like staying together right sometimes days were so dark and cold that i couldn't even remember that i have a wife yeah when you stay separate for so long another day passed oh i have a wife yeah forgot to call her okay i will call her tomorrow busy day stupid day lost another day of my life ah, destiny i actually believe destiny put us together let me tell you a story so it was 2011 i just sold my hair salon so i wanted to take some break from work and uh, came to tour company to order some cool vacation believe it or not at first i wanted to go mountain uh, skiing yeah mountains full of snow just like this so they offered me some ridiculous price i believe it was about four thousand dollars for a tour oh. yeah yeah probably i should leave this right and break already march so i said okay do you have anything cheaper and they said no it's kind of cheap hotel if you want mountain skiing uh, during uh, high season that's what you gotta pay i said no 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 better i go swim give me something in the south so they offered thailand and i said okay i will go look at elephants so at first tour company offered me ambassador hotel big hotel uh, at Najam Tian location it's like uh, very south part of Pattaya area so I said okay it's cool I will relax on the beach and then before the plane they called me and said oh dude like that hotel is overbooked we will move you to the hotel in central Pattaya near walking street I said okay whatever I didn't know what Pattaya was I didn't know the geography of the place so I did not care so after the plane landed the tour guide came to me and said oh sorry your hotel is overbooked we will move you to another hotel at Jom Tien I said okay whatever just bring me somewhere I want to swim and then literally next day I came out of the hotel and met her at Jom Tien Beach so, if it's not destiny, what is it? That's how we met. And you don't normally meet people at the other side of the world. I've read a study that uh, about 90-95% of all human population meet the significant one uh, in the range of 30 kilometers from their home. So, can this kind of relationship be stable? Should you try it? Is it worth it? I don't know for you. It kind of depends on the character. Who you are and what you want. Worth it for me. I chose it. I'm allergic to work. I suffer through pain. I work anyway just because man needs to bring home some money that's my part she's doing her part you know the last year she had a youtube channel in thailand and it kind of lost traction thai people didn't watch anymore so she kind of lost face in herself and gave up and she came to her salon asking for work like enough for youtube i will work and then she had to work i think half year maybe more and she earned nothing she literally earned nothing and then after we met in turkey i said don't you think that's enough 
we're working for nothing. We have to build something for ourselves. That's why I kind of force her to make channel in English. Subscribe channel. For international audience. And she's doing it in Thailand right now. She's making vlogs about Pattaya beaches. Not, 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 not beaches, but what you probably thought. No. But they are beaches, the shores. I'm going to sleep every day, knowing that someday it will be better. Maybe not next day. Maybe someday. But someday I will return to your shores. So, after all this said, is this worth it? Yeah, for me. At least for me. I hate every day of the six years that I had to wake up alone but I'm grateful for four years that I spent with her I love you Annie I hope someday we will get all together and die and they will burn us and spread the ashes of a Jompian beach where we met 10 years ago I guess I have to eat this cake alone. That's sad.